The very like first video I see on your on your channel um, is actually Fanime 20, uh, 2012. Yeah. And and like I see I see like um I see getting down um, with, um as Deadpool and I see like a little six step um some some windmills. Were you like were you like a b boy like uh, um, prior to that? I, I I was always a big nerd. I was always uncool until I started breaking. And, oh, very cool. and then I was like, girls are talking to me now. I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with breakdancing, you know? And so it all started with Dance Dance Revolution. I used to go to arcade a lot. I played a lot of like Marvel's Capcom, a lot of uh, Tekken and Street mm. Fighter and stuff. The local arcade had a DDR machine. Yeah. And I remember playing it when I was much younger. I was in like Las Vegas. I remember I was with like my, my with my mom and there was a, yeah. like a Dance Dance Revolution machine. It was in like a circus circus. And yeah. <laughs> I, I went there and I'm like, what is this? And it was a huge crowd. And so I put my money in and I remember everybody like this huge crowd. And everyone was like cheering me on. I'm like, oh, this is so fun. I'm like, dude, I'm not playing like on like basic mode, but I'm like having a, f a blast and whatever. Yeah. That weekend in Vegas, I, I spent so much money on Dance Dance Revolution and I made some friends. I was like, man, this is great. And I looked it up online and there was like... Um, the DDR freak. There was a there was a forum, and oh, wow. I made some friends or whatever. And then a couple years later, there was an arcade that opened nearby, and uh, they had uh, Dance Dance Revolution Third Mix. And there was another arcade that opened up. There was Fourth Mix, and so I'm like, oh, cool. And so I used to go to these Dance Revolution spots, and I met some friends there. These some of these people that I met went to my high school, and I didn't even know that. I didn't really meet anyone outside of my like my bubble of friends. And then when I started going to DDR, I met some more friends. We we started. We, we, we made like a dance the DDR crew right oh, awesome. and so we were like we would we would go to different like cities and different like arcades and be like hey let's see who get the best score or whatever right and then uh, we met some guy who like I guess sea walking became a thing like crit walking which is actually yeah. for those who don't know it's gang affiliated I know your kids yeah. are like what's sea walking but like they started implementing sea walking on the dance dance revolution machine <laughs> So they started oh, yeah. doing all these crazy things. Oh, yo, what's that? That's cool. We went on the DDR forums and we were like, oh, what is this sea walking thing? And so we looked up online. So we found a dance forum. And then mm -hmm. people were talking about like tuts and waving and not specifically popping or locking or like street yeah. dance. They just specifically talked about like these moves like tutting and all these other mm -hmm. things. And then we're like, what's tutting? What's all this? And then so this DDR crew slowly started learning like real street dance. And then I finally looked up break dancing and i used to make fun of it all the time i would be like at a family party and then they started playing like hip-hop or whatever and then mm -hmm. i would make fun of it i would just do some random dumb shit like on the floor like <laughs> you know roll around and that's what i thought break dancing was i didn't really think yeah. there was a technique to it or like a like a step to it or whatever i just dicked around he went from like dance revolution to popping locking to street dance to whatever and then to to, to b-boying and then we were, we thought we were the shit we just copied moves online and we just doing some dumb shit in glendale right across the street from like the Glendale Galleria, which is the big mall there. Yeah. There's this place called the Glendale Marketplace, and it was a boba spot. And yeah. we used to hang out there all the time. And we started doing like the this like the Santa Monica Pier thing. We would drop a, a bucket, and people would drop money. And we would just be dicking around. And there was this dude named uh, he he goes by OG Jekyll. He's like an like an old school pop locker, and he saw yeah. us. This dude comes up, and he's like. Yo, that ain't popping. You don't know your shit. And he was—we got scared. He looked like this homeless <laughs> dude, right? Oh yeah. And to cut that that part of the story short, he's like like a legit like one of the like the first like pop lockers who like made it on into media. And he was yeah. homeless at the time. And he saw oh, wow. he saw these kids who were doing the stuff that he like engineered with his who like, kind of originated. And he yeah. saw us, and he kind of took us under his wing. And he mm -hmm. was like teaching us like the real way. For, for like street dance. And eventually he ended up taking in like uh, my friend Justin, who is a world-class pop locker now. He teaches all over the world. He won uh, That's awesome. uh, America's Best Dance Crew. Oh, wh oh sorry, wh which crew was he in for Be America's Best Dance Crew? Poriotics. Oh, okay, dope, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so Justin, um, he goes by Jet Li. He went to Poriotics. Uh, my other friend, Robert, he goes by Mr. Fantastic. He was on America, uh, so you think he could dance. <laughs> So oh, he took them under his wing and they made a thing out of themselves. They, they were focusing mostly on like popping and locking 
and I did b-boying. Instead, I wasn't that great. Like, I was okay. I'm not, like, the best. I did some stuff, but, like, I knew what I was good at, and I knew how to talk to people and create communities and whatever, so I actually started a, a b-boy event, uh, oh, a yearly b-boy cool. event called New Kids on the Block. Last round, each crew right here. And so I was yeah. throwing these events yearly and whatever. I became a, pr a pretty uh, pretty known person in the local like LA b-boy community. That's what's and, up. Yeah, and so I kind of made my name in the b-boy scene through, uh, I guess, creating events. And yeah, so I, I don't practice that much anymore, but like that was a huge part of like my life growing up. Oh, that's awesome. And I still implement it somehow. That, and it's really cool because you, um, you see the, uh, the dance influence in your videos because you're always like, goofing off and dicking around with like cosplayers and, and it causes fun and everyone's like enjoying themselves you know yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I feel like that's like the, a, a good core of the entertainment like and that's really cool mm -hmm.